Here's one of our new puppies that we'd like to share with you. It's called the AJA Helo Plus. It's the next generation of our original standalone Helo device, which was designed to record and stream H.264 files. So why might you want to look at the new chap here? Well, it's about two encoders now. You've got an SDI input, you've got a HDMI input. You can encode both streams coming in at the same time. You can deliver them to two different platforms with two different uh, packages. Maybe one is HLS, maybe one is RTMPS on you know, different uh, CDNs, maybe Facebook alongside basically YouTube or anything else you need to do. Because we have two streams, that gave us the opportunity to explore a really exciting idea. And that was the idea of effectively having something close to a switcher built into the box. So you have layouts, and you can take those two inputs, you can scale them, put them alongside each other, you can choose a color map background to put behind them, and you can import up to 99 graphic files, you know, create a lower third in something like uh, Photoshop, import them, and do your design phase. So before you do your actual live stream, design a great look for your pieces, and then during the playout, the actual live event, the day of, you can effectively use the shot box where you've saved those layout designs and you can quickly switch between them on the fly, live. When it comes to the recording side, you can be recording to an SSD file, uh, you can be going to a USB drive or even through the LAN connection where you're doing your streaming, also hook onto a NAS system. So incredible amount of power in a small box allowing you to do the basic work of what broadcasting today is for so many of us. So I think it would be great for you to take a look, as you can see on the connectivity here. You've got audio in and out, SDI in and out, HDMI in and out, your LAN connection, of course, and a USB configuration, which is normally where you just plug in our MiniConnect software, sets your original IP address for the device itself so that you can get going. When I say it's standalone, as you can see, you've got stream and record buttons. You can simply click and go. But once you are plugged into a network, you're getting a full-blown GUI interface because we've got a built-in web server here. And that GUI interface even allows you to do exciting things like import a calendar file. So you're doing the event today, but you want to repeat it tomorrow and the next day at different time zones. And literally just import calendars and say on those days, go off and immediately start streaming the stuff out. The other wonderful thing is that we've introduced uh, gang control which is a, a, a level of power that we've always provided with our recorders and players, the key, the key Pro series. And this can partner with them. So any one device that you might have taken and set a start or stop point, all of them can follow. So you can have a pretty complex setup where you've got a Key Pro Ultra 12G recording really high quality ProRes or Avid DNX files or HR files. Have this in the chain as well. Get your H.264 file. You can walk away your USB stick right away and stream all at the same time. And you can be a single operator where they're all connected and simply through the software say, you guys are all ganged, a hit, go on any one of the devices and the others follow. So what we've given you here, as opposed to the original Hilo, which was basically a set and forget device, is now you have the ability to go in, configure as you would normally do with any streaming box, go through a layout and design phase, before the event itself, and then effectively you treat the box as a little bit of a live switch. And you can recall your layouts and just click on them with your mouse, what have you, from what we call the shot box layout. So you've saved your designs, switched them at the appropriate moments, and you've got a really exciting and simple uh, delivery for your shows. Mm -hmm.